this year's chairman for Ohio County Relay for Life, and I want to thank everybody for being here. Everyone who has come to support their survivor, everyone who's a caregiver, all of our teams, they've worked really hard this year. They have gone out and they've made things, they've baked things, they've sold things. They've done a really great job. They've worked really hard. It takes a lot of work, but they're very dedicated. So we want to give our teams a big round of applause real quick, please. I want to thank our survivors, especially without them. We wouldn't have the inspiration that we do to be here. We like to see their courage. We enjoy to seeing their strength. They are strong. They work hard. They continue on with their lives. They smile. They love. And they are a true inspiration to me. And I know they are to everybody else that's here also. In the name of Relay for Life participants, I confirm that we are here to celebrate the lives of cancer survivors, to support those fighting cancer, and to honor those we have lost. Our commitment will be symbolized in every step we take, each and every one moving us nearer to our goal, the goal of a cancer-free world for future generations. Relay for Life is not just a fundraising event for the American Cancer Society. It is also a symbol and an honoring of cancer survivors. Cancer survivors go through a lot of hardship. There's pain, there's sadness, there's fear. They have to go on with their lives and they struggle and they suffer. So part of that little bit of hardship that we have by staying awake all night long and, and being hot and tired and dirty is a way for us to honor our survivors. It lets them know that we're willing to suffer just a little bit to show them how much that we love them. So about seven years but I've been on the committee just this first year. I've took on a lot. I'm trying to learn what everything Shauna can tell me how to learn. I took it up from her, my best friend. So, uh, My dad was diagnosed in 2010. I relay for him and my grandfather and also Miss Brenda Shields that just passed away. She battled it for a short time and then we lost her but She's a very strong woman. She helped me raise my kid for the whole first year of her life, so I will continue to relay for her. I'm Jody Fleener, and I too think I've relayed the first two years of, as part of a team and walking the track. And then um, cancer touched my family, and I am the youngest of four girls, and fortunately, um, I am the survivor of our family. And my family and all of my family actually passed from cancer. So I just truly believe in Relay. As Amber said, the money does come back to our county somehow, and it's so great to see everybody out here relaying, and we just need to keep it going for many more years. I'm Angie, and I've been on the committee, I believe, about five years, like once I said. Um, it's hard to remember once you've gotten started with it how long you've been there, but I believe it's five. Um, taking many different jobs throughout the years through in the committee, and when I began on the committee, I had a few aunts and uncles with cancer. Um, short couple months after I started the committee, my grandmother uh, was diagnosed with cancer. Um, lost my grandfather to cancer just a couple months ago. And I relay for the survivors because I do believe we can give them hope. And we are their hope to keep them strong. So that's why I relay. I'm Ann Watson. I've been on the teams and committee. I've been on the committee for about five years and I've been working with the luminaries. And I relay because I lost my husband 11 years ago plus more family members and I hope that we can find a cure. I am Teresa Zachary, and uh, this is my first year actually on the committee. Uh, I've done the survivor registration this year. I relay, uh, I lost my father 17 years ago to cancer, um, and I have had several family members, grandfathers, uncles, friends. Uh, my mother in law is a 15 uh, year survivor, and so I relay now for all of the survivors, and like Angie said, that we will find a cure one day. I'm Sonia Davis. I did the first two years of Relay on a team just simply because somebody asked me. I didn't know what it was. 
I had lost my father-in-law in 1990 to cancer. Many other people I've known over the years. I've been on the committee for about five years. And about a year ago, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. She's over there right now with the survivors, and that's why I relay. I relay for my grandmother who passed away in 97 of breast cancer, and I relay for my aunt who is like a mother to me. And I relay for all survivors and hope that one day we can have a cure. I'm Randy Wilson. This is my fourth year. I was recruited by Debbie Puckett. <laughs> and I also didn't know what relay was when I started. Um, I actually lost my father two days after my first relay. So the next year I decided to get more involved and be on the committee and I relay in memory of him and also for all of our other survivors. I'm Debbie Puckett and If our survivors could come this way, tell us your name and how many years. Phyllis Kitchener, 13 years. Woodrow Bell, 10 years. Sarah Simpson, one year. Christine Hensey, 13 years. Years. Oh, there he is. Proud of you, Brad McClady, 17 and a half years. Shawnee Hines, almost two years. Carol Phelps, 12 years. Linda DeWeese, 14 years. Betty Lindsay, 15 years. Marie Cabaco, almost seven. Randall Mosley, 15 years. Jamie Maiden, four years. Three Clark, still fighting. All right. Robin Hagen, a year and a half. Jessica Hagen, two years. <laughs> Becky Milky, five years and counting. Right. Yeah! Sorrels, 10 years. Rita Schroeder, 7 years. Norma Stevens, 24 years. <laughs> Melissa Hoheimer, 19 years. Thank you. 
tight in 20 years and eight months. Edison Bait in 18 years. You got you. Oh, I'm going to really bend it 12 years. Ricky Hunt, nine months. Fred Puckett, five years. Any large, three and a half years. Moore, 23 years I'll be kidding. There you go, Mr. Moore. How are you doing? We're still above ground. Linda James, 27 years. Sheila Decker, 9 years. Come here, Sheila. <laughs> Patty Leach, 12 years. Girl, Lindsay, 12 years. Maxine Gwen, six months. Lois Porter, 10 years. Shirley McDaniel, five and a half years. All right, Shirley. Carl Elmore, three and a half years. Ed Mitchell, nine years. Better than I deserve. Missy McDaniel, four and a half years. Carl Rivera, one year. Tori Trizzle, she is one year cancer free. Jackie Torrance and I am still doing treatments, but I am sure to be this time next year cancer free. All Terry Torrance, eight months, free. This is Christy Stewart. She was diagnosed a year ago today, and she is cancer free. Jerry Bashley, 15 years. Smith, 11 years. Dale Ward, 10 years. Praise the Lord. Now our survivors will take their celebratory walk around the track.
Come on, everybody, let's get loud.